So have you gotten gifts for Mother's Day for those special ladies in your life? Well, you might be thinking, hmm, I'd like to get something a little extra, but I want it to be more personal. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you things you can make uh, from photos, from uh, to make it make a Mother's Day card, from scrap paper, from clipboards, to do even a terrarium that's personalized for mom. Hi, I'm Bonnie Overman. I want to thank you for joining me today. I hope my channel will inspire you to lead a more productive, creative, and stylish life at any age, always on a budget. And in case you're wondering, I'll be 70 years old this year. And why do I say it? Because if I can do it, you can do it too at any age. I want to thank my subscribers. I appreciate you so, so much. I want to thank you for watching and commenting and supporting my videos. It means the world to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so, so you don't miss any of my lifestyle DIY decorating or shopping haul videos. All right, you guys. So these I'm thinking out of the box a little bit, but you can take photographs, you can take some scrap paper, you can take a clipboard, you can take some picture frames and other things. And I'm going to show you how to make just a little personalized gift for your mom or the special ladies in your family. I hope you love it. I hope you get inspired and make one or two. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. So welcome to my Mother's Day DIY workshop. You know, you probably got your mom something really nice and expensive, but I always say, Add in a little personal touch. Us moms and grandmas really love that. Let's start out first. I'm going to start out with the cards first and making them. But I, I had a um, viewer request on the tags that I make. You know, I always show you I make these little tags out of Kleenex boxes. And uh, I wanted to show you the dimensions for this particular tag. Now, this is what I would consider to be a large tag. So the first thing we're gonna do is we are going to take a piece of Kleenex box and measure out five inches long by two and three quarters across. Now, the next thing to do is to actually cut the corners. Now, if you're not comfortable doing that, I have a tip for you make a little square that's three quarter inches square. In other words, across three quarter inches and this. Then take it and diagonally, like little wedge sandwiches, cut it apart. So what I did is I put half of the little wedge over here and the other half over here. Now just draw your line here and cut it. And then you're left with this. So this is the same pattern that I start with and of course then you glue um, paper on both sides and you're good to go. Okay, all these cards have what I call here in the center is a, um, a little paper cluster. And then I've just added these flowers, which I'm gonna show you in, in a video coming up very soon how I make these flowers. So it's basically a background, a paper cluster here, a flower added to it, a Mother's Day tag. Now this is made from a little scallop circle punch and a stamp. I took a piece of lace like a gift and put it across top and bottom here. I did add a little bit of yarn, um, eyelash yarn. And then this is made from unraveled burlap and you can make a bow. So you can see they're all kind of the same design. Um, I use some tool some different things, different backgrounds. Try to make your own card for Mother's Day. It's something that I think every mother will appreciate. You can see how pretty it is here. Okay, now the next thing I wanna show you is my little uh, bee skep. Now, if your mom or grandma or whoever you're gonna be giving this to, or even your daughter, I mean, if she's a mother, it's nice to celebrate with all the ladies. Um, I made this little bee skep. I talked about it in one of my Dollar Tree videos that I, I hauled this. It's uh, sand toys that you can make like a castle out of. Well, I took this yellow piece and I just wrapped rope all around it and made a handle and that's the little bee skep. And you can see I made a little wreath around the door with a bee on it. And by the way, those bees are, um, these are actually foam stickers from Hobby Lobby and I just kind of aged them a little bit. 
there's the little wreath I made. And you could even hang it on a little clipboard too, which is really cute. So if your mom or grandma or daughter likes bees, that would be an adorable little present. Now, the next thing I wanna show you is, these are Tim Holtz characters. These are not my family members, but I just wanna show you, this is something you can do for Mother's Day is to get a beautiful frame get some of her old pictures. This might be you when you were a little girl, or maybe it was your mother when she was a little girl, but to, how sweet to actually make copies of the photos and actually cut the figures out. And a precious little flower here that I made out of paper and lace. And again, I have a little ticket here to admit one. It looks like it's kind of a ballet performance. And then this one here, don't be afraid to embellish your frames. This was embellished with some of the flowers and then I added to it. But here, this might be your mother and her sister. Now, I wanna go back to here. You guys know I have these altered clipboards. This is that music paper I leave for everything. This could be your mother and father at, on their wedding day. How beautiful is that? Again, these are older um, vintage pictures, but how beautiful. Now for that one, I took a piece of scrap paper. I took some Anna Griffin little borders. That's a gold piece there. And have some of her flowers and butterflies on that one. I love these clipboards. You guys, I've showed this to you in a lot of my videos, this white piece right here. Um, that's a great gift for mom because you can put pictures on it. You could put recipes on it. You could put her favorite card. This is my favorite card that my granddaughters got me is Happiness is Grandma. And it's got all the little sewing things. It's like three dimensional. I keep it on my desk. I absolutely love it. But how cute. So if you can come across one of these white kind of age stands like that in the kitchen, in the office, they're really good. Now here's my other altered clipboard. Now this one, I just, the one of those seed packets I had framed, I put a picture of an old fashioned car. This could be mother and father, and it could be you in the picture. It could, this could be your mother in the picture with her mother. Um, and I put Happy Mother's Day on it. And again, you can change these out because they come right off the clipboard. But I thought how interesting to be cutting out these shapes of these people. One of my favorite Mother's Day cards. Look at this. Look how fabulous it is. Amazing. I keep that in my office. I absolutely love it. I had one of these terrariums left and I put some flowers in it a butterfly, and that could be mother and daughter. It could be uh, maybe your mother and her sister. But I thought, and it kind of keeps it dust free. How adorable to put the little pictures in the terrariums with the flowers. I made this, um, this is a coffee filter wreath. You guys, I just scrunched up the coffee filters and just put them on. Um, I kind of dyed them first a little bit, tea dyed them, but you can see it's in the shape of a heart. So I wanna show you, look how beautiful with the messy bow on it, just hanging down. I've used gauze and tarp and some tall fabric. And if you wanna make it extra cute, add one of your little fabric bows to it. This is a bow that I made very simply with this tall fabric and some lace and a button. So you can see how adorable that is. I have one last thing to show you, and I just absolutely love this. And we're going to talk about this more because one of my themes is doing albums, getting you those photos into albums to be enjoyed. This came from Hobby Lobby. This is like a very specialized, it actually has a safety pin. It's just a beautiful, beautiful scrapbook page. You know how I use these? I put them on the front of albums and then decorate them with pictures. Here's another one. This one is all about traveling. How neat to get your mom's um, pictures and actually make an album for her. This is, would be really, really cute. You could give her for Mother's Day this on an album filled with blank pages and say, Mom, gave me your pictures and I'll make your album for you. This is another one that is just spectacular. It has a clock with actual hands on it, tickets, 
um, really beautiful. So I want to show you what I made from this one. I showed this before very briefly. So this is my mother and father. So I took a pink album and just glued on this top sheet here. And you only need two pictures. I put a picture here. This is my parents. And they just started dating in the 40s. And here they are there. She's got a corsage on. So handsome and beautiful. Oh, it gets me a little emotional to see that, actually. Um, so how beautiful to give to your mother. And then I just want to show you the first page. You know, they got married very simply. There's my um, aunt, my grandmother, and my mother. And there's my dad and my mom. They had a simple church wedding and had a reception over at um, uh, his mother's house. And look how beautiful. I took, I took the, this is their certificate, and I it, it backed it, and I had some little pictures here of them. I put one on a tag, and I added some butterflies. You guys know butterflies, right? Isn't that a beautiful page with their... Um, their marriage certificate on it. I just thought it was so beautiful. So I'm going to be doing a lot more with albums, but for now, make a little album for your mom for Mother's Day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. These are the kind of little personal things that you give with another gift, and they mean so much because you made them that came from your heart. I want to take a moment, and even though it's not quite Mother's Day, wish all you mothers and grandmothers all you moms out there, a wonderful Mother's Day. I hope you loved it. I hope you got inspired. And I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye.